Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use NFC tags to scan amiibos into your games using CMU version 1.9.0. Okay, so before we get started, we are going to need the Breath of the Wild editor that we installed in the previous video. If you have not installed it, go check out the video now. It will be linked in the top right corner of the cards now. Okay, so once you have this installed, we are going to need to download the NFC tags for use with amiibos in CMU version 1.9.0. These can be found at this address here. This will be linked down in the description. Once you download these files, you're going to want to open up your CMU. The next thing you want to do is load your Breath of the Wild. Once we are in the main menu, you want to come down to Options. You want to make sure that under this Amiibo option here at the top, you select Use Amiibo. Once you are done here, we can fully load into our game. Once you are loaded into game, you want to press up on your D-pad and select the Amiibo room. Press the Amiibo rune button now. It will bring up this. The next thing you want to do is come up to NFC and select Scan NFC Tag from File. Click this. You now need to navigate over to wherever you saved the Amiibo NFC Tag files we got at the start of this video. Click here, mine are saved on my desktop. The next thing you want to do is select whatever amiibo you want to use. For my use case, I'm going to use Wolf Link from Twilight Princess. And as you can see, we now have Wolf Link present in our game. For the purpose of this video, I now need Wolf Link unfortunately to die. So let's let this guardian kill him. Okay, now that he's dead, we'll finish this Guardian off. Okay, our Wolf Link just died, and if we go to select NFC, scan from NFC tag again, and summon him again, we will not be able to, as this amiibo can't be used again today. In order to get around this, we need to open up our Breath of the Wild editor from the previous video, select Scan Memory, and once this process has completed, come over to the Amiibos Speed tab. You want to click on Unlimit Amiibos and click Save. Click OK and you can now minimize this. Let's now try to scan the NFC tag again. Let's select Wolf Link. And there we go, we have Wolf Link summoned back into our game. It must also be noted that some of the amiibos within CMU do not work as they do not scan correctly. I will be doing a guide tomorrow or the day after that will show you a more in-depth way of getting all of the amiibo items into game like the Ocarina of Time Link outfit that you see on screen right now. Cheers for checking out the video guys, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.